picture of the Nile River off in the distance. I took hundreds of pictures and recorded hours of video along my journey. In addition to the pastors, I captured beautiful vistas of the Ugandan countryside, as well as adorable children. You'll see plenty of those. I also recorded a few worship services at the churches we went to deep in the lush mountains of this amazing country. This is Pastor Christopher and his family. The way that his wife worshipped was so encouraging to me. It was as if she was peering into the throne room of heaven as she danced and sang the Lord. This particular clip shows three songs that were seamlessly fit together in a medley of sorts. It starts at the end of this song led by the pastor and then two more songs from Sister Christopher. I didn't catch her name. Hear that switch? That's the next song or the last song for this clip. songs like that. Now the team that went from my church in High Point Baptist in Austin, Casey, myself, John, Elder Otis, and Delmar are team lead. These are the Lees, Jacob and Carol. They're from Seguin, Texas. The name of their ministry is Reaching Africa's Unreached, or RAL for short. They organized the conference for the pastors. Hello, I'm Jacob Lee and this is my wife Carol. Hello. We are here in northwestern Uganda, it's called the West Nile region, just about a mile off the South Sudan border. 
And the Lord has blessed us, enabled us to have like 17 acres here where we bring pastors in for four-day retreats. We just finished up a week-long uh, conference with Reaching and Teaching with the Texas team. We really appreciate them coming. Um, we are working on trying to get churches planted in the nearby Metro Mountains where there's uh, a real need to evangelize and plant churches as well as in Yumbi, which is predominantly Muslim. And so we're involved in church planning, discipleship. Uh, we're trying to do some mercy ministry type things. Why don't you tell about that, Carol? Well, we um, have the opportunity to give out medications to, especially to areas that have uh, no access to clinics or, or at least remote enough to where they don't have that readily available. Um, we've been able to help some children who have special needs for uh, corrective surgeries and that's that's a real blessing because without it their lives would be completely different and with the benefit of surgery they are able to lead normal lives so we're grateful for just opportunities to be pipelines of blessing to some of the people in this region that otherwise would not receive those blessings and a real open door for us has been the agricultural end of the ministry which was kind of just happened upon us where we realized that probably 90% of the people here are agrarian and, and most all the pastors have some type of land that they're using and so we wanted to be able to help them have better gardens, produce more, make money through their land and so we have an agricultural ex a part of our ministry where we train pastors in ag as well as in the community with a radio program uh, we have a, a excellent agriculture officer, Emma, who's doing a good job teaching people in, in ag. So we hope to be bringing people here on our compound to train them uh, not only in the gospel, but continuing in agricultural extension type training as well. So we appreciate your prayers and we invite visitors to come, those who have gifts that they can offer to the Lord, we can plug you in uh, in getting the gospel out to the people in this region. The labors are few and the harvest is white, especially here. Thank you. The leaves are rock stars. I love them. We arrived Saturday evening at the Rob Compound. Like Paul. 
Working with a translator was difficult, but by the time that footage was taken, I got the hang of it. The past and the symbol primarily spoke either Madi or Renga. Many of them also knew Swahili and some English. By God's design, there are two words that are the same in every language. Amen and hallelujah. Saturday morning, after a full week of teaching, we traveled back into the mountains to visit two other churches. We almost didn't make it to the second because just after leaving the first church, oh, we learned that one of the was, shocks on the land cruiser broke. The shocks broke off on the way. Yeah. So the weight is pretty much up here. The same, so we just got back down. to the. I think uh, it's just going to be pushed aside. Land cruiser, and we saw it. The shocks. Still has the like spring hanging out underneath the shock. Okay. Other than a truck, whatever. So we, so. We, we just prayed. Yeah, that's the thing going and up the Ayaz. I think the issue. they may have to cut but the uh, visit to the next no, village short. Because uh, you know, they have problems. Broken. The yeah. bracket is broken. Where well, you have to get one from? You have to go all the way to Arua to get one. You still have to go over to Arua to get a new shock. Yeah. I think the shock is actually so, okay. It just broke off the bracket. Oh really? Yeah. Did the bracket broke? Something yeah, broke. Where, you know, the shot goes on. So, and you weld it on. Well, yeah, it could be God's provision to, for safe passage back to where ever we're going <laughs> next. <laughs> All right. We were in the middle of nowhere, and if this truck breaks down, we will be in big trouble. I was terrified and secretly hoped that Jacob would decide to head straight back and skip the second service. We pressed on instead and uh, I'm glad we did because this was the most fulfilling time of my entire trip. These brothers make their own instruments. Wow, right? Absolutely amazing. Now I gotta give you a heads up because this was my favorite part of the whole trip. I decided to leave this footage unedited and is actually about seven and a half minutes. So if you want to skip past it, you can. But know this, that the end, near the end, as the second song draws to a close, which again is seamlessly tied together with the first, the camera becomes very erratic because I'm going in. Just a heads up.
Try not to cry right now. Here's where I lose it. Definitely getting good to me. Because I'm tired now. Joy of the ghost most holy. Going on to admonish the saints and sinners. The fire that had been ignited in them blazing. Jeremiah 20, verse 9. Luke 12, verse 40. It was truly what the old saints called a high time in the Lord. back safely that night. He also saw to it that the shock was fixed later that night so that we could go back into the mountains the next day. While you were celebrating Mother's Day here in the States, we had a joint service where five churches in the region gathered at night balance. Otis preached a powerful word. His pastor told me to pray. Following the preached word, there was a procession to a body of water
Ya. Um, Emma and Yavi Manuel from Mayo. We are in, uh, praying in the Mayo Town Baptist Church. I just want to give an appreciation. I want to express my virtue of having um, Mr. Will here. He came here. He's really my role model in what he did to me. I see him someone who is powerful because when he came here, he changed my life. What he told me and what he preached to us, of course, are things that are like uh, changes our mind and this one gives us the rectorate in the Bible. So I take him as a, a role model to me, a hero to me for the time he had been here. And uh, I always hope to see him back. When he comes, it will be my pleasure. I hope what he did to me would change our lives one way or the other. But I experienced a lot of change in what he taught me because what he taught me are things that run on the ground and that are moving on. So as he preached, I took it as a pleasure to me and I'm taking it into consideration that I changed the world and then the world also comes to salvation as I am in salvation. And uh, two is um, I would wish and hope to see him back. If any hope would be given to him to come back to this place of ours so that he could do these things to us and then we get to the grassroots of uh, like uh, our culture here to bring people on salvation, it would be a good thing. So. Um, praying very hard that he continues coming here and getting to teach uh, the youth of this place so that the youth will rise again to worship the king of glory thank you very much send my regards to where you're coming from and there we keep on coordinating with you people on the facebook uh, the emailing we keep on sending things like that thank you very much come on back uh, come back again we hope to see you once more again in moyo here is it um, ready? This is Pastor no. Bosco from Uganda. Mostly, I want to thank the missionary whom you have sent to uh, Uganda, especially in West Nile, side of Uganda, just bordering Congo and Sudan. So I want to thank for the teachings that they have been teaching us, and uh, we believe we are going to, we need to fulfill the word which in Timothy chapter 2, verse 2, which that you, for those who are interested, and they will be taking this word to other people. So I want to appreciate mostly the supporting from, from you, from America, and other parts, mostly those who have sent this missionary. I want to thank for this young man whom you have sent. He has been teaching us and inspiring the word, and a very good teaching, and it is our prayer that every year he should come back to Uganda and to train many leaders because through this training we have seen that it may bring a lot of change in Africa may bring change mostly here in Uganda we want to appreciate mostly the sponsors want to thank God for all those who are standing with them and also want to thank God to appreciate those who are supporting this ministry we thank God that you are standing with us even here in Africa. Even though you are very far, but still we believe that you are standing with us and the work of God is going to grow up. Because through this, we are going to meet many people, mostly like a Muslim community, like a, this Catholic community, those who are not saved. Through the teaching that we have got, we are boldly to stand and to preach the gospel everywhere. We thank God and we appreciate even the man of God who is with us. And it is our prayer that every year or twice in a year, he must come and train the leaders. We thank God for that. May God bless you and we shall continue be together in oneness and in one accord in our prayers. We shall pray for our sponsor us we shall pray for those who are supporting we shall pray for those who are standing with us we shall pray also with those who are a partnership with this ministry may god bless you and god continue to bless you we said amen amen god bless you so oh, much oh um, you, pastor yonda andro doko a Sudanese. i am a refugee in uganda with bd in the district we have planted 21 Bhakti churches there. Uh, we appreciate your support because Will, he has come here just with a team. He is teaching us Bible survey. Will, who is teaching us many methods of teaching the Bible. And therefore, I have acquired a lot. And 
just to go back and teach just to others who did not come here. And in this type of war, we have lost all other things. And we are hoping that he should move here so that he can do a full here in Uganda. Because most of us, we are lacking many things. We are Okay, this brother said he's lacking many things. He's a refugee, South Sudanese. He's lacking many things. What does he lack? Lacking a lot of teachings. So, Yo, this brother has been displaced from his country. He's living in a refugee camp. And what he's lacking is not electricity or running water or toothpaste. He said teachings. Wow. It makes everything clear. So, you can pray for us. We appreciate if he could come back again and continue teaching us. Andy, I am asking you so, so that he will go to the camps and teach many fasters. And in Yumbel district, where we are, that is the, that is the district of Muslim. They have planted 260 mosquit and 96 percent of the population are islam and this and what that is a district just for islam in uganda and therefore much work is needed your support just will it is a great blessing may god bless you so much you pray for us we are praying for you. Thank you. Thank you. So that does it for me. Lord willing, I can make it back next year with your help. The video concludes with another moving time of worship. Enjoy.
servant, speaking the sovereign God of my salvation. Seated in heaven, doing all he pleases, compilation. Spirit, Son, Father, love and unity, three in one. Everywhere, all knowing, having all power, sustains the Son. But one day the Son will dim and pass away, unlike his...